forgot my sunglasses, didn't I? Good morning um, and welcome back to an angler's diary. Um, today I'm on the Tench Pond. Clues in the name. Uh, another one of my club waters. Um, this time one of my not so local clubs. Um, and so this is the uh, the first session I've had I've had on this uh, on this water this year um, due to the um, travel restrictions and one thing and another. Um, I have a I have a favourite swim on this water, and um, and this isn't it. Um, my favourite swim is about 50 yards further up the bank. Um, and that's where I headed when I got here this morning um, only to find there were two goose nests full of eggs uh, right where I was wanting to fish you can imagine the kerfuffle there was when I rocked up there this morning so I, uh, I've had to come down come down the bank a bit um, and from what I know of this water um, this is this is quite a deep a bit deeper part of the lake um, further up you go it gets shallower and I really did want to fish the shallower water today because the forecast is for some um, quite bright warm sun um, we had a fairly significant frost overnight and I, I, think, I can't help thinking the fish will head for the shallower water to get some sun on their backs um, so whether I'm in the right place or completely the wrong place remains to be seen as I always say to you, if anything exciting happens, I'll be back. Quarter to one. And um, not a touch, I'm afraid. Uh, been keeping a close eye on the water as well and not seen anything moving um, certainly no signs of any carp moving about um, tactics today well the sharp-eyed amongst you will have already worked out that I'm using a large method ball a method feeder um, with pellets ground bait um, sweet corn and hemp wrapped around it um, hook baits either uh, multiple pieces of sweet corn hair rig or um, small red worms um, but at the moment none of that is uh, is proving to be terribly successful um, a little while to go yet though and um, as the sun gets a bit lower in the sky you never know there's always hope as they say <laughs> Well, that's it. A blank, I'm afraid. The uh, the tench didn't want to cooperate. Uh, a bit disappointed, I have to say, because, like I said before, I thought the conditions were, and the timing, was about right for a tench. Um, I'm going to come back and give it another go, though. I def they're definitely in there. Three days later. Three days later and it's Tench Pond part two. Um, I said I'd come back and today's the day. Um, perfect conditions this morning, just the slightest touch of frost overnight um, but the sun's up, it's clear skies um, 
and hopefully the fish will be in the mood. Um, I've got the shallow I've got to the shallow end of the pool today as well. I've come in via a different gate so um, hopefully that'll be in my favour as well. I've also changed tactics slightly but I'll tell you about that shortly. Well that's a great shame, but at least there's something there. So yeah, tactics. Um, while I was, when I was here the other day, there was a, one of the club members came wandering around for a look-see um, and he, he told me something I didn't know and that was that the club have restocked some um, quite nice carp in here. Um, they've spent an awful lot of money on this water putting a fantastic otter fence around it and they've put carp up to 26 pounds in into the lake now I didn't know that the last visit and I was fishing with relatively light gear thinking I was fishing for the tench and of course there's always a chance that uh, a carp will pick up a tench bait um, so I've bought the light carp rods with me today um, along with um, some heavier line reels with heavier line on um, and I've changed the terminal gear a bit as well um, so as you've just seen um, I thought what I could do was um, if anything to improve my chances of a carp but also still fish for the tench um, on one rod the good old PVA bag um, which is filled with all manner of bloodworm flavoured goodies um, and a, a small boily hook bait on the other rod I've stuck with the method ball that I was using last time but instead of the um, light ground bait mix that I, and pellet mix that I'd used this time I'm using scalded halibut pellets and corn with corn hook bait so um, again aiming for a tench but you never know now I know there's some carp in here um, might get a pleasant surprise time will tell see you soon <laughs> another bait up and um, I don't know, four or five loads of <coughs> method feeder gone in there um, but that'll be uh, that'll have to do for the rest of the day it's now <coughs> 20 to 2 and um, apart from that one run that failed to hook up it's been very very quiet apart from the geese of course That's another blank. Um, no, drop pickup this morning, just adding to the frustration really. So <laughs> what to do next? Well, there is another pond here. It's just over here behind these trees. Um, and the bailiff was here earlier on this afternoon and uh, he recommended that I try fishing the other pond because he reckons that I'll stand a much better chance of catching a, a tench from there. 
um, shouldn't really uh, ignore advice like that. Um, so, next time, pasture's new. But I think now that I'm packing up, I'll go and have a quick investigate um, and just explore it, see what it uh, what it looks like. And um, I'll take you with me if you like. <laughs> Bit of a jungle, isn't it? Well, what do you reckon? Looks kind of right. I'll have a look along the bank. Well, got to be worth a try. I think that's the next trip sorted. Till the next time. Run, meet, lay down. morning um, and welcome to Tench Pond 3 um, although strictly speaking we're on the new pond today uh, the one that we um, we had recommended to us for the for the Tench lovely morning we got a shower of rain but um, none the worse for that really and um, I've got bubbles a little, little bit of fizzing going on, so um, fingers crossed, you can never can tell. Whether I'm being over optimistic or not, I don't know. We'll find out shortly. See you soon, hopefully. An hour in, and um, apart from the odd knock, nothing to report. Having said that, um, the swim will still be settling down because I had to resort to uh, this animal this morning. I can't remember the last time I had to do that. Um, so, as I say, the swim will take a little while to settle after having this thing thrown around in it for a while. Got plenty of time yet though. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'll be able to see those bubbles fizzing up just on the far side of that clump of weed. That's not far off where the rig is. And that's been happening all day so far. Watch those fizzing bubbles get nearer and nearer and nearer and then all of a sudden the bobbin will jump and that's about as exciting as it can get without actually <laughs> without actually catching a fish. Well at least the f there's some tench there. I mean nothing else. See, look, there's some more. There's some fish moving about there. All we need now is one to find the hook bait. Okay, um, let me show you the rig that isn't catching the fish at the moment. Um, a simple helicopter on this rod, a bunch of red maggots with a floating rubber maggot, um, flatbed method feeder with a PVA mesh bag of uh, maggots hooked on the end and then scalded pellets and corn in the uh, on the feeder <laughs> nothing very trick but there we go as I say, that's the rig that's not causing, catching us, sorry, not catching us any fish at the moment. Looks like the army's busy again.
Well, <laughs> there's something hanging on the end. I think it's what we came for. Well, that is just the perfect way to end a tench fishing video. What a beautiful fish. There. Eh? <laughs> Look at that. Five and a half pounds. It's been a long wait. It's taken three trips. Got there in the end. Fantastic. Well, that is a belter of a fish. I couldn't be happier really with a fish like that. Yeah, steady. So that turned into um, into a bit of an epic, <laughs> three trips, but uh, when you get a result like that it all seems worthwhile and uh, I have to say I really enjoyed it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll no doubt be that back to these ponds, quite comfortable places to fish to be honest, um, and there are definitely bigger tench in here. Um, and they're, they're worth uh, they're worth pursuing um, so it turns out the advice that I was given on the last trip by the young young bailiff who um, I gather his name's Sam um, well thank you Sam because um, that advice paid off I think I said at the time it would be wrong to ignore advice such as that um, and I'm pleased uh, I'm pleased I didn't ignore it um, so first tension of the season I hope there'll be more if you've stuck with me through this one, um, and it's been a long one, obviously, um, well, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, and uh, there'll be another one along soon. So um, until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>